from Katie McNichol. She says, we haven't mentioned that Molly Goodman and Sarah Howe won the women's four a couple of hours before they won that medal in the women's pair. So, um, yeah, you're right. We should have mentioned that, Katie. And really nice of you to tweet us. Thank you. Yeah, of course, doubling up could be an interesting thing that we see in future now with that women's four available as an option. So now it's time for the women's single skull. A little graphic of the boat there. Two blades, boat weighing 14 kilograms, very fine boats, steered purely with the power of the blades as we take a look across the lanes. So Diana Jimchenko, the Ukrainian sculler, Anna Katrin Tila from Viking Leipzig in lane two, Olympic champion. In the quad women's quadruple skull, Duang Jingli, Olympic bronze medalist in this event behind Kim Brennan and Jennifer Stone. Vicky Thornley, new kid on the block and going like a train this year, the Leander Club Sculler. Magdalena Lobnig, European champion from 2016 in the Olympic final, finished sixth in that event. Quality field, isn't it? And yet another New Zealand sculler in the final. This time, Halla, Hannah Osborne from Te Awamutu. There's Magdalena Lobnik, Kurt, coached by Kurt Treyer, Duan Jing Lee. You'd think she would be the favourite to take this title, but Vicky Thornley has been sculling so well that uh, it's going to be a real contest between these two. Yeah, well, it's an interesting one now, the women's single, isn't it? Because there's no Emma Twig, no Kimberly Brennan. So, uh, yeah, Dwen Jing Lee, as the, as the Olympic bronze medalist, is the, uh, the form sculler in the world. And uh, we're, we're interested in whether Vicky Thornley from Great Britain can challenge her, um, as she's made such a good start to the 2017 season already. Dwen Jing Lee slightly quicker than Vicky Thornley in the semi-finals yesterday. I expect Lobnik to go out hard as well. And Tila. Tila, of course, <laughs> Olympic champion. What a start from Lobnik. We said she was going to go out well. She really did. Tila, I think, is leading at the moment. We were stood behind her in the lunch queue yesterday. She's uh, coached by Angie Nowak. And Angie Nowak, one of the former East German Oswim, one of the few female coaches in world rowing. And there's nice flat drive. She looks great, doesn't she, Tila? Well, she does. She's used to normally sitting in that quad, isn't she? But now going for it in the single. And she's dynamic and she's got away well. But, What's um, Vicky Thornley doing? Look she, at Vicky Thornley she leading She doesn't that. have a fast start. What's no, that? What's no. she doing there? That, she's just... That's amazing. She's got a length on the Olympic bronze medalist, Duan Jing Lee. To Vicky Thornley's left is uh, Magdalena Lobnig, the European champion from last year. Six in the Olympics. Anna Catherine Teeler, the fast starter, is to her right, but uh, Vicky Thornley's soon going to overtake her, and it's a question of what Duan Jing Lee's doing, the Chinese. Yeah, no, Duang Jing Lee looks really quite relaxed there. I mean, it's, obviously, it's a long race in the single skull. It's not all going to happen in the first 500. But yeah, Vicky Thornley going out well in that longer rhythm. Obviously, she's so tall and rangy, really, compared to Teela, who's a pocket rocket, really, um, with the higher stroke rate keeping the boat going. We're seeing a completely different sculling, sculling style from Vicky Thornley to the style that we saw from Robbie Manson, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. She's so um, so long and relaxed, and she needs to use those levers effectively that you see, that she, she gets slid right up to go a maximum distance per stroke, and her boat is going to go further per stroke than most other people's, but she needs to make sure she's got enough power um, and, and, and connected power uh, behind that, as opposed to Teela who um, has a more dynamic, more aggressive kind of sculling stroke, which is working here at through 500. And interesting to see Lobnik from Austria coming back into the race as well. Yeah, Lobnik led Duan Jing Lee in her semi-final yesterday. Vicky Thornley was quicker to 500 than Duan Jing Lee in yesterday's semi-final. So Duan Jing Lee will start to come through. And you would expect, if the semi-final form goes according to plan, that Vicky Thornley will come back on anna Catherine Teela. But, of course, nobody's told uh, anna Catherine that. No, absolutely not. As we see here, the, the German skull are moving really quite nicely out in front there. She had a little bit of a break in her arms that we've seen from some other scholars. Um, not, Katrine Boron. Not course. slowing her down yeah. yet. Like you say, Boron, yeah, classic arm breaking uh, German sculler. 32 years of age, 
and uh, well, she was the fastest German female sculler, but uh, I think uh, Lisa Schmittler took that title this year in the early season German trials. Yeah, really interesting race to see how this pans out because Duang Jing Li there is right in the mix as well, just with an overlap. Lobneg now from Austria coming through in this second 500, which is showing some maturity, I think, from her. It is. Lobnig is that sculler who really, is, she's been around, you just think that she could take a big race and deliver. And uh, she took a bronze medal in Belgrade behind Victoria Thornley. Victoria Thornley, calm and smooth. She'll be tracking Duan Jing Lee behind her, the Chinese sculler, the Olympic bronze medalist. That's you really wonder what's going on in her head right now, do you think? Vicky Thornley? Yeah, and sitting in the middle of the race there, having gone out, tried to lead it, it, it it's got to be, not it, leading it now. It's got to be process, you know. I think it's those loose hands off the finish that Paul Reedy, her coach, was talking about. Flow out forward, just be confident and do something in the third quarter. This is where the race begins. But it's a real interesting time to, to notice where your head goes. As we see uh, coming through there, yeah, Lobnik has, has made her statement. Teela has come back into the pack, really. Um, Interesting to see, really, there's still half the race to go, and I think a lot can happen. So we saw Paul Reed this morning cleaning Victoria Thornley's boat. He was pretty cagey about uh, tactics and so on, but he did say that she's been really loose forward, doing a lot of difficult technical exercises just to maintain that relaxation. She's been in the form of her life here. But Lobnig out in front, the Austrian sculler. From and I think Duan Jing Li is going to be one, the one running a really mature race now to really start to come through. There's a lot of open out of the body. She's really opening out against the hips. Long lean back at the finish. Yeah, it is. Well, she's not so tall, is she? So she needs to make the most of her long of her back, make the most of what she has got there, as opposed to Thornley here. Here we see she's got so much length that she can afford to sit upright, really, at the finish. Pick the winner, Greg. Who's going to win this race? I think this is still too difficult to call. Um, I think Duan Jing Li, purely on the basis of experience and the fact she didn't go out that hard so I'm thinking she might have more left yeah, in her back I pocket. Think, I think that's a good call. I think Duan Jing Li might have the last quarter in her back pocket. So let's look at the one, two, three, four. Lobney closest to you. Victoria Thorley, the British sculler in second place. Duan Jing Li, the Olympic bronze medalist from China in third. And then at the top of the screen, the pocket rocket, Anna Katrin Thieler from Viking Leipzig in fourth place. She led early on. Lobnik, though, has maintained her pace through this third quarter. It's a great skull from the Austrian. Kurt Trejo, coach, will be delighted. This is one of the best performances we've ever seen from her. But there's still 500 metres to go, more than 500, 550, as they come into this point. And I really think anything could happen here between these three. I think Thieler has probably shot too early and gone. But who knows what's going to happen now? It's outside of world's best time pace, about six seconds off the space. Uh, pace set by Rumini and Kova in Seville in 2002, one of the longest standing records. That's not going to bother Lobnik, she's just got to stay out in front. She was so brave when she won the Europeans. Though it was a, 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 an incredible cross wash, huge wind, and she just went through it. And the likes of Karsten and uh, the Czech scholar, the Czech Olympic champion, Napkova, couldn't cope with it. Lobnik could, that must have given her a tremendous sense of self-belief, and she's using that today, Greg. Yeah, that's right. And that graphic there showing us that Lobnik is still the quickest on the course. She's gone. She went early, but she's gone again now, and she's pushed that out to nearly a length. That's a fantastic move. What does it say? Neither of us have picked Lobnik, and she looks to be in pole position to take this World Cup 2 title, Greg. Well, she does now, because they're now down to about the last 300 metres. And... Uh, it's this, going to be hard to bring back that much, even in a single skull. This is where we thought the battle for gold would be, head-to-head -head Victoria Thornley and Duan Jing Li. But actually, the script was written differently by Magdalena Lobnig, the Austrian, is now going to take, unless something sensational happens in the last 200 metres, to take this title. It's a single race, so anything can still happen, but that looks like it's still a little bit of, a little bit of clear water, I think, for Lobnig as they come into this final sprint with about... 15 strokes left. Vicky Thornley has been practicing her sprints, but Lobnig has still got clear water. She is going to take this title. This is a sensational result, an upset. Lobnig got beaten in the semi final by Duan Jing Li. Not today. She has found something extra, something magical. This is the world arrived, folks. Anything can happen if you put your mind to it. And Magdalena Lobnig has upset the form book. A brilliant gold medal in World Cup 2 from Lobby. Vicky Thornley does beat the Olympic bronze medalist, but it's the silver medal, not gold. Duan Jing Li takes bronze again. And that was a fantastic race to watch.
technically, I think, one of the best races we've seen here today, Greg. It was. What a race from Lobnick, actually, in terms of that maturity that she's been in this boat for, for a decent amount of time now. She used to go out and take control of it. Now she's just learned to say, you know what? I'll sit in the pack for the first 500, then I'll come through. Victoria Thornley learning all the time. First season, really properly going for it in this boat uh, to get the silver medal. And then we see Duang Jing Li. Um, bronze in Rio, bronze here today. But uh, I think she's probably still got more to give as the season goes on. As we see, we didn't see much of her Hannah Osborne, the New Zealand sculler, just getting the boat out. Janine building, Gamelan. Building the length stroke by stroke. Janine Gamelan, there's Lobnig's Blades, the Swiss sculler who won Bel uh, Belgrade, beat Thornley, beat Lobnig. I mean, I wonder what she's thinking watching this presentation of world rowing. I mean, you know, there's the strength of the opposition. Anna-Katrine out in front. That was where Lobnig moved through. Yeah, it was the second quarter again, wasn't it? Like the New Zealand boats that we saw. Oh. Biden stayed sensible in the first 500 then came through i wonder if thornley was just tracking to anjing lee so much that she didn't think so she thought she'd come back that lobnig would come back to her and she never did well it's an interesting thing as you learn this event isn't it and, and that, that balance between i suppose focusing on what you can control staying in your boat um, or how much you might look to the opposition and think well if i'm doing okay i'm ahead of the the rio bronze medalist then i'm in a good position here magdalena lobnig 713.26 in new world cup best time 98.77 percent of that world record set in 2002 she took it just under a length ahead of 